Hello and welcome my dear students. Welcome to this video on definition series in biochemistry part 6. In this video, I'll inform you some very simple, basic and most frequently asked definitions in enzyme chapter. So let's begin. Enzymes. Enzymes may be defined as biocatalysts synthesized by living cells. They are protein in nature, exception RNA acting as ribozyme, colloidal and thermolabile in character and specific in their action. Simply, enzymes are specialized proteins that catalyze biological reactions. Intracellular enzymes. Intracellular enzymes are functional within cells where they are synthesized. Example, the metabolic enzymes. Extracellular enzymes. Extracellular enzymes are active outside the cell. Example, all the digestive enzymes. Hollow enzyme and apoenzyme. The functional unit of the enzyme is known as hollow enzyme, which is often made up of apoenzyme, the protein part, and a coenzyme, that is non-protein organic part. So hollow enzyme could be uh, hollow enzyme, the active enzyme could be made up of apoenzyme and coenzyme that is the non-protein part. So apoenzyme is the protein part, coenzyme is the non-protein part. Together they constitute the active functional enzyme known as holoenzyme. Prosthetic group. The term prosthetic group is used when the non-protein moiety tightly or covalently binds with the apoenzyme. The active site the active site or the active center of an enzyme represents as the small region at which the substrate or substrates binds and participates in the catalysis. So in a very a big enzyme, this site could be a small site known as catalytic center or catalytic cleft or pocket active site. Cofactor some enzymes require an additional chemical component for its catalytic activity. This additional group is called cofactor, which be either one or more inorganic ions such as Fe++, Mg++, Zn++, etc. Coenzyme The non-protein organic low molecular weight and dialyzable substance associated with enzyme function is known as coenzyme. Example, active form of thymine that is TPP, active form of flavin FMN and active form of niacin NADH. Monomeric enzymes. The word monomeric enzyme is used if it is made up of a single polypeptide. If the enzyme is made up of a single polypeptide, then monomeric. Example, trypsin. Oligomeric enzymes. Some of the enzymes which possess more than one polypeptide subunits or more than one polypeptide chain are known as oligomeric enzymes. Example, lactate dehydrogenase. Multi-enzyme complex. There are certain multi-enzyme complexes possessing specific sites to catalyze different reactions in a sequence. Only the native intact multi-enzyme complex is functionally active and not the individual units. 
if they are separated example pyruvate dehydrogenase complex hybrid enzymes it is possible to rearrange genes and produce fusion proteins or hybrid proteins or hybrid enzymes example a hybrid enzyme of glucanase and cellulase that can more efficiently hydrolyze barley beta glucans in beer manufacture enzymes enzymes or catalytic antibodies are antibodies with variable regions possessing enzymatic activities example dna is enzymes now enzyme specificity enzymes are very specific in their activities so we'll study some of the specificities first is stereo specificity the enzymes act only on one isomer and therefore exhibit stereo specificity example l amino acid oxidase and capital d amino acid oxidases act on capital l and capital d amino acids respectively the enantiomeric pairs of amino acids so uh, l amino acid oxidase that is the enzyme meant for l isomer will act only on l and the enzyme meant for d isomer will act only on d isomer reaction specificity a substrate can undergo different types of reactions each catalyzed by a separate enzyme and this is referred to as reaction specificity an amino acid can undergo transamination oxidative deamination decarboxylation racemization etc the enzymes however are different for each of these reactions absolute substrate specificity certain enzymes act only on one substrate example glucokinase acts only on glucose relative substrate specificity some enzymes act on structurally related substance example trypsin hydrolyzes peptide linkage involving amino acids arginine or lysine broad specificity some enzymes act on closely related substrates which is commonly known as broad substrate specificity example hexokinase acts on glucose fructose mannose and glucosamine the structurally related substrates now coming to the various theories that have been put forward to explain enzyme catalyzed reactions first in the series is michaelis menten theory accordingly the enzyme e combines with the substrate s to form an enzyme substrate complex or es complex which immediately breaks down to the enzyme and the product is released so e plus s give you es complex that dissociates into free enzyme and the product fischer's template theory or lock and key model according to this model the substrate or conformation of the enzyme is rigid the substrate fits to the binding site now the active site of the enzyme just as a key fits into the proper lock or a hand into the proper glove coarsland's model or induced fit theory as per this model the active site is not rigid and pre-shaped the interaction of the substrate with the enzyme induces a fit or a conformational change in the enzyme resulting in the formation of a strong substrate binding site further due to induced fit 
the appropriate amino acids of the enzyme are repositioned to form the active site and bring about the catalysis substrate strain theory in this model the substrate is strained due to the induced conformation change in the enzyme it is also possible that when a substrate binds to the preformed active site the enzyme induces a strain to the substrate the strained substrate leads to the formation of the product now mikhailis maintain constant or km the substrate concentration expressed in moles per liter to produce half maximum velocity in an enzyme catalyzed reaction the michaelis maintain constant indicates that half of the enzyme molecules that is 50% are bound with the substrate molecule when the substrate concentration equals the km value so km value is equals to half v max now michaelis maintain equation or mm equation which is given as initial velocity in moles per times is equals to the ratio of maximum velocity into substrate concentration divided by km plus the substrate concentration the same equation has been used for deriving line weaver burg plot significance of michaelis maintain constant or km it is a representative for measuring the strength of enzyme substrate complex a low km value indicates a strong affinity between enzyme and substrate whereas a high km value reflects a weak affinity between them so low km high affinity between e and s and vice versa now line weaver burg plot or double reciprocal plot now the michaelis maintain equation or mm equation is been treated in this by taking the reciprocals of the michaelis maintain equation a straight line graphic representation is obtained it is much more easier to calculate the km from such type of plots that forms the intercept on the x axis which is minus 1 upon km further the double reciprocal plot is useful in understanding the effect of various inhibitors so mm equation is treated double reciprocal equation is obtained 1 upon v0 is equals to km upon v max 1 upon substrate concentration plus 1 upon v max the equation resembles the straight line graph with y is equals to mx plus c so m is the slope c is the intercept as you can see on the line weaver book plot on x axis minus 1 upon km so from this km could be calculated dickson plot the velocity v is measured at several concentrations of inhibitor i when the substrate is kept constant so now there are two variables velocity and the inhibitor the dickson plot is used to determine inhibition constants a plot of 1 upon v versus concentration of inhibitor yields a straight line as you can see in this the graph of 1 upon v versus concentration of inhibitor yields straight line this is dickson plot cooperative binding in oligomeric enzymes binding of substrate to one unit enhances the affinity for binding to other subunits cooperative binding a sigmoid shaped saturation curve is obtained and in such cases hill equation is employed example 
oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve where oxygen comes and shows positive cooperativity in binding to the different subunits of hemoglobin temperature coefficient or q10 it is defined as the increase in enzyme velocity when the temperature is increased by 10 degree celsius now the units of enzyme international unit or iu one si unit or international unit is defined as the amount of enzyme activity that catalyzes the conversion of one micromole of substrate per minute per liter of sample and is abbreviated as units per liter catal another unit for enzyme activity one catal or catalytic activity is defined as the number of moles of substrate transformed per second per liter of sample k cat is equals to v max divided by the number of active sites international units and k cats are related one international unit is equals to 1 millimoles per mi minute that equals to 16.67 n cat this information is obtained from the units of enzyme activity recommendations by uh, NCIUB from European Journal of Biochemistry Nomenclature Commission of International Union of Biochemistry Catalytic efficiency It is expressed as the ratio of K cat divided by Km Specific activity It is the number of enzyme units present per milligram of protein that is Vmax divided by the protein concentration it is a measure of the purity of the preparation turnover number it is the number of substrate molecules transformed per unit time by a single enzyme molecule by a single catalytic site that is Vmax divided by number of enzyme molecules so number of substrate molecule transformed by a single enzyme per unit time or by a single catalytic site in oligomeric enzyme for example okay this is the estimate this is estimated in purified preparation of enzymes for example turnover number of carbonic anhydride is 400000 now coming to inhibition enzyme inhibitor Enzyme inhibitor is defined as a substance which binds with the enzyme and brings about a decrease in catalytic activity of that enzyme. And the process is said to be enzyme inhibition. First, competitive inhibition. The inhibitor I, which closely resembles the real substrate S, competes with substrate and binds at the active site of the enzyme but does not undergo any catalysis so substrate and inhibitor so inhibitor competes with the substrate in binding to the active site of the enzyme in competitive inhibition km value increases whereas vmax remains unchanged anti metabolites there are the chemical compounds that block the metabolic reactions by their inhibitory action on enzymes. Antimetabolites are usually structural analogs of substrates and thus are inhibitors. Antivitamins The term antivitamins is used for the antimetabolites which block the biochemical actions of vitamins causing deficiencies example sulfonamide dicomarol etc 
non competitive inhibition as the name suggests the inhibitor binds at the site other than the active site on the enzyme surface this binding impairs the enzyme function for non competitive inhibition the km value is unchanged while vmax is lowered allosteric enzymes some of the enzymes possess additional sites known as allosteric site the word itself is obtained from the greek word allo means other so enzymes possess additional sites besides the active site those sites are known as allosteric sites and such enzymes are known as allosteric enzymes allosteric effectors certain substances referred to as allosteric modulators or allosteric effectors or allosteric modifiers bind at the allosteric site and regulate the enzyme activity the enzyme activity is increased when a positive allosteric effector binds at the allosteric site on the other hand enzyme activity decreases when a negative allosteric effector binds at the allosteric site now k class of allosteric enzymes the effector changes the km and not the vmax and therefore k class double reciprocal plots similar to competitive inhibition are obtained example phosphofructokinase v class of allosteric enzymes the effector alters the vmax and not the km double reciprocal plots resemble that of non competitive inhibition example acetyl coa carboxylase suicide inhibition it is a specialized form of irreversible inhibition in this case the original inhibitor the structural analog or competitive inhibitor is converted to a more potent form by the same enzyme that ought to be inhibited the so formed inhibitor binds irreversibly with the enzyme this is in contrast to the original inhibitor which binds reversibly a good example of suicide inhibition is allopurinol that inhibits xanthine oxidase and is used in the treatment of gout feedback regulation the process of inhibiting the first step by the final product in a series of enzyme catalyzed reactions of a metabolic pathway is referred to as feedback regulation the end product itself is regulating its own synthesis own formation constitutive enzymes they are also called as the housekeeping enzymes the levels of these enzymes are not controlled and remain fairly constant adaptive enzymes their concentrations increase or decrease as per body needs and are well regulated now therapeutic enzymes applications of enzymes enzymes are used in various uh processes like analytical therapeutic diagnostics and all so first therapeutic enzymes enzymes that are used as therapeutic agents example streptokinase prepared from streptococcus is useful for clearing the blood clots analytical enzymes 
Some enzymes are useful in the clinical laboratory for the measurement of substrates, drugs and even the activities of other enzymes. Example, glucose oxidase peroxidase used for glucose estimation. Immobilized enzymes. Some of the enzymes are immobilized by binding them to a solid insoluble matrix which will not affect the enzyme stability or its catalytic activity. Example, GODPOD immobilized and coated on a strip of paper are used in the clinical laboratory for detection of glucose in urine. So urine sticks which are normally used in the laboratories nowadays have the coating of these enzymes immobilized on the paper and then that is used for glucose estimation to detect glucosuria. Diagnostic enzymes Estimation of enzyme activities in biological fluids particularly plasma or serum for diagnostic purposes. Example Serum amylase for acute pancreatitis. Now, plasma specific or plasma functional enzymes. Certain enzymes are normally present in the plasma and their activities are higher in plasma than in the tissues. They are mostly synthesized in the liver and enter the circulation. Example, lipoprotein lipase, ceruloplasmin, cholinesterase, etc. The impairment in liver function or genetic disorders often leads to a fall in their activities. Example, deficiency of ceruloplasmin in Wilson's disease. Non-plasma specific or plasma non-functional enzymes. These enzymes are either totally absent or present at a low concentration in plasma compared to the levels found in the tissues. Estimation of the activities of non-plasma specific or non-plasma non-functional enzymes is very important for the diagnosis and prognosis of several diseases. The raised enzyme levels could be due to the cellular damage, increased rate of cell turnover, proliferation of cells, increased synthesis of enzymes, etc. Example, creatine kinase that is elevated in myocardial infarction. Isoenzyme The multiple forms of an enzyme catalyzing the same reaction are isozymes or isoenzymes. They however differ in their physical, chemical properties which include the structure electrophoretic and immunological properties, Km, Vmax values, optimum pH and relative susceptibility to inhibitors and the degree of denaturation. Example, isoenzymes of CPK and LDH. Ribozymes. In certain instances, the RNA component of a ribonucleoprotein that is RNA in association with protein is catalytically active. Such RNAs are termed as ribozymes. Help procured from all these resources are duly acknowledged in making this video. Thank you friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be happy, healthy and most importantly, stay safe. Thank you so much. And remember, biochemistry is easy. Thank you.